Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on Terraria Journeys and Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the world's best game on the planet. Uh, yeah, I was gonna really do something. There we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Last episode in this wonderful, wonderful game. What we've done is we, um, well, we didn't have the best of the videos. We were battling uh, the Queen Slime, but then the Queen Slime killed us and now we're dead. We still have one more attempt, still have one more gelatin crystal tree you can use. But after you use this, you probably won't have any more attempts, so I don't know. But we can try again if needs be. So yeah, we have, I guess, three bosses that I kind of really want to defeat. I want to defeat Queen Slime so you can have her out of the way. I also want to go and defeat um, the Destroyer. All this is probably going to be pretty hard. And also would be good if we could defeat, you know, the twins. So yeah, twins, destroyer, queen slam on, defeat those three. But they're quite a hard bunch. I think the easiest of the three is in fact queen slime, although we battled her last time. We did manage to get her all the way to the second stage, we managed to deal better damage to her there. But we did unfortunately die. So today I plan on doing the same thing, but without dying. I just want to kill queen slime, I want to kill her, get out of the way. With her dead, then you can probably deal with the destroyer, and then finally the twins are the other way around. The twins first, and the destroyer. I didn't know, but I have three bosses which I gotta defeat. It won't be easy to kill them, especially with Queen Slime Summoners. The gelatin crystals being very hard to get. It's like very hard to get these crystals, so ain't gonna be easy, but it's gonna be fun, I hope. So, um, yeah. Oh god, we need to get ourselves over to the arena again, don't we? Yeah, the nurse has moved back here, which is kind of stupid because I do kind of need her over there, so I don't know why I moved her back. But uh, yeah, I also need some more gel, and gel ain't that easy to get. I only have, I, just, I only have like 707 gel, that's all I have. I don't have any more, and I might need more, so maybe the flamethrower ain't the best weapon, because getting ammo for it is quite hard, especially when it's in the middle of the night. So how about maybe now we try to, no, I was going to say we're going to try to go and defeat the destroyer, but it's nearly the end of the night. So I think we're going to try off Queen Slime first. If we lose, which we most likely will, then what we can do is we can just try to kill the destroyer or the twins. We'll see. We need a plan. We need to kill at least one of the three bosses so we can go and get a bit stronger to kill the other two. I'm going to go all the way over to here. And then, yeah, I've, I don't know why, but I've, at the end of the last episode, I've moved the nurse back into the hollow. Which I don't want her in the hollow. I want her to be, you know, in the arena. So that's actually where we're going to move her. Mm -hmm. Oh, why did you have to hit me, for God's sake? So we're going to move you back here, shall we? Nurse, Emma, boom. She can just chill here. Now, we're clearly going to go back home. There we are, she's moved. Uh, yes, she has, good. We're clearly going to go and chill here to make a, bit, make a bit of a battle plan. I do intend on upgrading the mini shark into the mega shark, but for that I will require, well, to kill the destroyer. That's a feat I haven't yet achieved, which I kind of need to achieve. To actually upgrade the um, Mega Shark, we will require, um, yeah, Mini Shark, which we have, Legal Gun Parts, which we have, 20 Souls of Might, which can be the hardest thing, we need to actually kill the Destroyer for that, and the Shark Fins, we can just easily get by killing a Shark, we probably even have those, so it's just the Destroyer Souls that I need to get the Mega Shark, and the Mega Shark will be huge help in taking down Queen Slime and the Twins, so maybe I should kill the Destroyer first, because that'd be easier to kill the Twins and Queen Slime. Issue is... Well, it's not really too easy to kill the destroyer because the destroyer is quite strong. His lasers just go everywhere. He has a bunch of probes that quite literally probe you. It ain't fun. So we might need a new plan. How many um, shark fins do I have? Just a single one. Great. Let's see if we can find ourselves some more sharks just so I can get a few uh, fins while I'm waiting for the turn day. I don't need it to be daytime to fight uh, the queen slime. But I prefer it to be daytime because... Well, why are you here? You don't need to be here. Why are off, oh, for God's sake, dude? You can. I'm just gonna move you. Yeah, I can move you here. I'm gonna move you to the ocean, actually, because I don't want you over here. I want the steampunker over here, right? Because the steampunker. Actually, no, 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 never mind. The steampunker. She likes to live in the. Well, yeah, she likes. Never mind. I thought she likes to live in the uh, snow, but, uh, but she likes to live in the desert. The desert actually is fully unavailable because all three NPCs have left the desert because, well, this is why. The crimson is just overtaken. Like you can see how quickly it's growing. So the crimson is overtaking the desert. So the desert's literally all corrupted, which is why all my NPCs have moved out. So I probably should do something about that. Well, anyway, that could be a problem for later. For now, I actually want to get myself some shark fins. I don't have to, as I said, 
uh, fight uh, Queen Slime during the day. I don't have to do it, but I prefer to do it because there'll be way less enemies during the day, and I'm gonna be able to see more. So I do want to. I just prefer to do it during the day because it's gonna be a bit easier. So that's what we're gonna do. Is I guess whilst we're waiting for it to turn the daytime, because we go and find ourselves some sharks, kill the sharks, get their fins, so you can already have that out of the way, and then you can worry on how we're going to kill. Well, literally the Queen of Slimes. Ain't gonna be easy, but well, hey. Now, can you give me all that good glow sticks? Absolutely useless. But I mean, she is. Gets us has some oxygen. Good. Go back on the water. Even better. Now. Mm, yeah. Okay. Sharks ain't gonna spawn that much. No, are they? Now, you see, I haven't really thought this through. Sharks are not the most common enemy, which is quite bad because I do kind of really need an item from them. Luckily, sharks do most of the time drop what we require. It's just gonna take a while to actually get them to spawn. Getting the shark fins. You know, having the shark fins drop ain't gonna be hard. Having the shark shark fins actually... Well, no, having the shark fins collected ain't gonna be hard, but actually summoning the boss to get... Not boss. Get... Ugh, they will drop. If we kill a shark, we will get a shark fin, so that's not a problem. It's just the problem is actually getting a shark to spawn. And I think he's gonna spawn because I think they mostly spawn during night and it's daytime, so... How about we come back to that some other time? We have one shark fin, getting four more shouldn't be too hard. Plus, I don't really need it now, I need it a bit later on. For now, though. We're gonna get the hell out of here. And we're gonna go and try to die one more time. I'm gonna battle the queen slime. Most likely get completely obliterated. And see what we can make of that. Throw these glow sticks away, because I don't need them. Spray some fire everywhere. And yeah, see what you can do. She'll probably destroy us knowing life. We're probably gonna get completely obliterated. But well, hey, at least it is, in fact, worth a shot. So, let's try it. If we die, which we most likely will, we'll be quite sad. If we win, then that'll be quite good. Also, you wanna kill her so you can have her out of the way. Then you can worry about the destroyer, getting the mega shark, and then the twins, and then the jungle. For now, let's see what we can do. Unpause the game. Make sure you can speak to the nurse easily. So, if we get quite weak, and jump around here, get into here, pause the game, speak, boom, boom, heal. Then get the hell out of there, boom, 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 boom. Dash over there, jump underneath there, quickly fly into here, yeah, dash yourself up to there, yeah, yeah, Queen Slime, Queen Slime, yada, 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 heal. And boom, boom, and then jump out again. That should work, it might not, it might, we will see. Let's just try not to die. The first stage you can do quite easily. The second stage is where we're gonna mess up, because the second stage is where we died last time, so. That's gonna be the hardest stage, but you know, it will be fine. Let's just waste normal time, and let's just go. Queen Slime, oh, I kind of like she, yeah. Let's just do this. If we die, then well, hey, that just shows I'm trouble at this game. Boom, here we go. I'm not ready. <laughs> the simplest way to say it, I'm not ready. Luckily, the game's paused whenever I want it to be paused. That's quite good. All right, here we go. Where is she? Of course, to the right of me. If we get up here so she doesn't yet do that, spawn on me. Okay, as you can see, we have already dealt the slightest percent of damage to her, and 1% is more than 0%, so I'll take that. Good. Like, as you can see, the damage you're dealing is not that bad. We're only battling her for like 30 seconds, and look how much damage she's dealt to us. My god, Christ almighty. That took a deep turn. Okay, I mean, the damage you're dealing to her is not bad. It's just the damage that she's dealing to us is even worse. She also summons loads of these weird annoying slimes, and plus, she just journey is annoying in general. And she summons loads of slimes and she's fast and the second stage is absolutely appallingly difficult. Why did you jump out of your home, Emma? Why did you jump out of your home? Okay, the nurse just literally got herself killed. She jumped out of her home, which means that she's now going to be viable to get a hit. If she gets hit, she's going to die. If she's going to die, there's no way we can win because I'm relying on the nurse to not get myself, you know, killed. So, nurse, uh, yeah, you're going to die. And if you're going to die, then I'm going to die. And if we both die, then, well, it's not going to be good. How is it? Okay, let's clearly kill her, yeah, slime things, because th actually those slimes are the things that killed me last time. She didn't kill me, her minions killed me last time, so that's quite bad. Okay, let her fall down there, good, do a quick pro gamer move on her. Just be gonna kill her little slime so they don't kill me, as before. She's gonna teleport to us any second now, there she is. Get off the hour. Okay, yeah, the nurse is just being stupid and getting herself stuck and hurt. Although we are dealing quite a lot of damage to the boss. This is the easy stage, by the way. This is not where this is not the harsh stage. The easy stage is where she just jumps around on the ground. The second stage, she actually starts flying. And when she starts flying, that's where stuff gets deep. So yeah, this is the easy stage. It's only gonna get harder from here. Which is not good because I'm already struggling here. If I'm struggling on the easy stage, then god knows what's gonna happen on the actual hard stage. Huh. Okay, starting to get hit, and I proceed to do just that. Great. I don't know if I got hit or if my thing magic has saved me. I've way, I'm losing health. Okay, can you all stop? This, these slimes that we kill do actually luckily drop gel, so we can actually restock on gel in, during this battle. Which is quite useful. Okay, now she's just summoning more minions. 
She's literally non-stop summoning minions. If she just keeps on summoning minions, then uh, it's gonna hurt. And if that hurts, we die. If we die, that's not good. Okay, second stage is imminent. Now, our feet second stage is gonna be here anytime soon. And the heal is gonna be healed before we enter stage number two. Can you move out of the way so I can go talk to my very wonderful nurse? Yeah, she is. Okay. Well, look how close we are to second stage. I mean, we can deal damage, but she can deal damage to us, which ain't good. Okay, no, stop, stop, heal, 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 heal. Okay, good. She's still fine. She took a bit of damage right there, but luckily the nurse can heal back up to full health in a matter of seconds. It's got good. Unless she gets damaged a lot very quickly, she will be fine. Okay, second stage is here. Come on, just there we are. Now, this is the stage that we're going to most likely die at. Yeah, this is the stage that killed us last time, so this is the stage that's probably going to kill us this time. Because not only is she a lot harder to kill because she's flying, but also her attacks hit me a lot more because I cannot actually run away from them quick enough. And it's just journey quite bad in general. So yeah, this is where the stuff gets hard. Journey, my health's rather decent. Her health is dropping, which is pretty good. That's Journey the boy who wanted to be. My health, good health, bad. Issue is though, I'm going to make a mistake some at some point, and she's not going to make a mistake at all. She's gonna be the exact same throughout the battle, so, yeah. Unless she gets stuck something like that, we're gonna be pretty screwed, considering the fact that I'm already nearly dead. Okay, now look at my health, and look at the slime's health. Crystal slime. Okay, kill it, good, good, good. Then, heal, 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 good! That was close. And I'm already getting damaged, I've literally just healed, I'm already, I already lost 25% of my health. Okay, we're staying strong, we're gonna use the hollowed repeater. Because it's a trustworthy weapon. Okay, I don't think she hit me there, but it was very close. And close is close enough. Cl way too close. Get out. Okay, now stop. It's hard to speak when I'm fighting a huge, colorful rainbow slime. Okay, come on. Stop. She's she's very nearly dead. I am very nearly dead, but so is she. So as long as we're going head to head, and as long as my head's going to be a bit of head. I, oh, God. Too many heads. If we're going to head to head, then it's going to be quite bad. If my, if, if my head's going to be out of her head... Then we should stay ahead and kill her. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. Look at her health. She only has no, approximately 6,000 health left. And I only have uh, 207. So she has a lot more. But I mean, I hit her more. So she's getting very weak. Her health's dropping, but mine is too. So I want to really heal up right here. Good. Heal, heal, heal. Good, 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 good. The nurse is still alive. She took a bit of damage though, but so did I. So I guess that's quite fine. I mean, that's not fine. No, they killed the nurse. Okay, they killed the nurse. If the nurse is dead, then our healing capabilities have just dropped to, like, 5 from the 500. Okay. We can still heal, but it's only once per 60 seconds. And the nurse heals us to max, whilst my potions can only heal me 150 health, so... We should be fine. We shouldn't need the nurse. But, I mean, our healing has just dropped a lot because we cannot actually use the nurse because she's dead. So that's quite bad. I mean, I said I can still heal using my own potions. But uh, my potions might not be enough. We might not need that healing, because look how weak she is. She's getting very weak. Right, I think we got it. Oh, no, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. For God's sake, yes! Oh, she been unlocked. Just desserts. Just desserts indeed. Look at all these slimes. My God. This is a very great start to today's episode. Okay, can we just kill these slimes? Before we look at that cheap, before we look at all our stuff, can we just kill these fools? I beg of you, just die. Oh, Christ almighty. How do we just burn all of you, huh? You like that, huh? You like that? Yeah, I thought not. Alright, my god. The nurse died, but luckily, we managed to still clutch that and still win. God, that was something I never want to do again. Right, cool. So, yeah. Queen Slime is dead. The only thing we got was a treasure bag, but that's fine. That's all I needed. My god. Right, perfect, I guess. I can't quick stack anything. That's actually on my last gelatin crystal. I don't really have any more. But yeah, we actually got the achievement. We have defeated the Queen Slime before, but when I was when I killed it before, the achievement wasn't actually implemented into the game. Because achievement came as part of 1.4.1, and Queen Slime came in 1.4.0. And we killed her in 1.4. So, you know, we killed her before the achievement was in the game. Therefore, when we killed her, we didn't get the achievement. And when they, add when they added the achievement, I already done what I had to do, but I had to do it again because, you know, it doesn't count because it was before the update. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. We got the achievement. I don't know where it is on this list. I can probably find it this way. There, there it is. Just desserts. Defeat Queen Slime, giving the coup de grace to the sovereign of all that jiggles. Yeah, we got that. And now Queen Slime is dead. I've only killed her just to, you know, I haven't killed her to get more items. I've just killed her just to have her done out of the way and the achievement collected, so. 
probably won't get any great things from the battle, but hey, at least she is dead. We did unfortunately have, you know, the nurse die. Emma, the nurse, was slain. But it doesn't matter because Amy, the nurse, just arrived. Cool. So, yeah, the nurse got killed, but luckily we already have a replacement. So, it is unfortunate that she died, but we already have a replacement, so it's all fine. Thank you for your sacrifice, uh, Emma. We have already replaced you, and your sacrifice was worthwhile. So, yeah, cheers. Anyhow, that is that done. So out of the three bosses that I wanted to do that I want to defeat today and next episode, one of them's already ticked off. One out of the three is done, only two more to go. So if the Queen Slam the easy is done, now we have the two harder bosses. The twins and the destroyer. I mean I could probably use the nurse strategy with the twins, because I can journey control where they go, so they probably won't kill the nurse. So you can probably use that strategy, but I probably can't use the nurse for the destroyer, because the destroyer is really gonna be everywhere, so the nurse is most likely gonna die. So, yeah. I don't know who I'm gonna battle first. The twins or the destroyer. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know who to fight first. All I know is that at least one of the three bosses that I wanted to deal with is dealt with. Anyway, let's first open the treasure bag, see what we got. Then we can, I guess, go back to the depressing matters of deciding who we want to get killed by next. Anyway, huzzah! Alright, four items. So actually, yeah, she drops armor, doesn't she? Yeah. So, yeah. Crystal Assassin Hood. This is mostly a, um... A mana outfit, I don't really use mana, but I mean, cool that it exists. Sparkle, yeah, cool, and now uh, the angry, the, not the angry, the actual item. Volatile gelatin, angry gives more defense. Give us, giving us more defense, I can't speak. Releases volatile gelatin periodically that damages enemies. Interesting, does it just non-stop come out of me? Or does it only come out every now and then? I don't know, but I mean, we did get a new item, so we probably could use that. And let's put all the other items away that I want to use. Let's decide if we want to use her item, then you can go and deal with the other bosses. Right, cool, but we got her. That's one of the three bosses dealt with. Let's go. Only two more to go, then you can have a bit of a break from bosses. And in that break, we can go and explore the jungle, go and build some arenas, have a fun time, craft some weapons. So, yeah. Only two more, two more bosses to go, then you can have a bit of a boss break. Whoa, we've done it. We have done it. Good. Now, actually, what we're here for... Put it away, because I'm trying to find my chest. There, yeah. Put, uh huh, yeah, good. I still need the metal part, but that's fine. Sparkle, yeah, just put you just into here. There we are. And now, this. Releases volatile gelatin periodically that damages enemies. So that could be useful. I don't know, I don't know what to swap it for, though. Because this we need, because it just negates uh, knockback, which is pretty good. Uh, this just makes us fast. This lets us fly. This actually allowed us to kill uh, uh, Skeletron Prime, so we need that. The Shield of Cthulhu, we don't need it. We don't need this shield, but it does allow us to dash. And the dashing ability could be a lifesaver when we need to get out of harm's way quite quickly. The Brain of Confusion saved our life multiple times, so we're definitely going to keep that. And this, Ranger Emblem. Increased range damage. That could be good. Because, in fact, my main weapon is the uh, Hollowed Repeater, and my I guess, secondary is the Flamethrower. Both of them are ranged, so they do have a 15% damage increase from the Ranger Emblem. But I don't know if we want a bit more damage or a bit more attack power from our, you know, uh, items. Yeah, I don't know if we should go and use the Volatile Gelatin or if we should stick to the extra damage. Because the damage is good, but this could also damage enemies. It depends what damages them more, because this is just a permanent upgrade. My weapons should generally deal more damage, whilst this, it just hurts enemies every now and then. And 15% ain't that great, so I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it on for now, and we will see what that does. I'm gonna keep the emblem in my inventory just in case I need to switch back. So yeah, we're gonna take it off for now, but if we do need to switch back, we can always switch back to it. We're gonna keep it in our inventory. Now, as you can see, night time is setting upon us. It's gonna be night time soon, so I guess you can challenge one of the bosses. So, I've gotta make a decision before we actually fight. Do you wanna go and kill uh, the destroyer first, or do you wanna go and kill uh, the twins first? I don't know, but what I do want to know is that I want to see where has this uh, Karimzin originated from? Because it came from here, so I think it went here, yeah, I think it went in a V-shape up here, although the hollow went over there. Yeah, the hollow went over there, which means that the Crimson stuff came over there. And that wouldn't make sense because this is now Crimsoned, but where the hell did, did cr this Crimson come from then? I don't know, but I need to eradicate this because it's literally, yeah, look. When I looked at this last, there's a bit of, you know, sand left. Now, this is all just crimsoned. And because it's crimsoned, that home now belongs to the crimson, therefore my NPCs won't live there. They don't want to live, you know, in a corrupted area, so... Yeah, this home has been put out of use, so that means my steampunker, my die trader, and my weapons dealer just don't want to live there. 
which is quite bad, so I need to go and remove all the scrims and so I can go and make them move back. Although I've removed it multiple times, but it still always persisted and came back, so I need to go and find its source and kill its source to make sure it doesn't actually come back. So I can work on that some other time. Prado, it's gonna be night time soon, so we gotta make the decision now. We're gonna worry about cleaning up all this crimson and, you know, taking down... Uh, yeah, we can worry about cleaning the crimson and making that home useful again some other time. It doesn't matter for a different time. We don't need the homes now. What we need to do now is make the decision. The twins are to destroy. Who are we killing? These we've battled last episode. We did rather decently. Is when we got spasmatism to the second stage. That's where we got obliterated. Because uh, her flames were faster than me. So I died. But whilst the destroyer... I mean, I think I need a bigger arena. I think my arena is way too small for the destroyer. Like, I mean, the destroyer is a huge boss. You really need a huge arena to actually hurt him. But his lasers are literally on point. God. And look, these gelatin things are now... Yeah, they're attacking the enemies. I mean, it's very hard to aim... Very hard to hit enemies with this gelatin stuff. But, I mean, it does deal damage, so... It doesn't release these gelatins whilst we're, um, you know... It doesn't release these gelatins whilst we're just chilling around. And it releases them once we're near enemies. So this could be quite useful to hit the destroyer. Because the destroyer is going to be everywhere. So him getting hit by these gelatins could be a lot. I don't know. I don't know if you should kill the destroyer. I mean, attempt the destroyer or the twins first. Because, I mean, the destroyer is going to be hard. And the twins are also going to be hard. Although the, the destroyer is going to be a bit easier to avoid. But we will need a bigger arena. No, the twins are going to be easier to avoid. So, I mean, we could kill them first, but the destroyer, I think, is a bit simpler. But we need a bigger arena for the destroyer. This is too small. We need to extend this, and I'm going to extend it some later time. So, I think I'm going to deal with the twins again, because, um, I mean, let's just... Yeah, I can't use it yet. I'll explain nothing. We're going to try the twins again uh, one more time. If we fail, which we most likely will, we can just try to kill the destroyer. And if we fail with the destroyer, then we will need a plan B. For now, though, let's really go. Wait till 7.30, and I guess, yeah. Let's do this. Here we go. Spasmatism, retinazer. Time to take you on. One more time. Okay, now this is what I don't like. Spasmatism does this. He just, he slash he flies. He has two stages in the first uh, stage. He has two movements in the first stage. One where he chases after you. He doesn't attack you. He's very hard to hit. And then the second uh, movement where he's doing this. He's literally staying right in front of you. And he's very hard to evade. And he's very annoying. And I'm already nearly dead. Okay, I'm dead. I've lost right there because of spasmatism. Stupid movement. Okay, I'm dead. I'm literally dead right there. We're gonna heal, but that's not gonna do much. Like, yeah, this. This movement right there is very hard to avoid. And I hate it. But it's one of his, like, implements. He doesn't shoot non-stop. But he shoots enough for, you know, me to get damaged. Also, there's two of them. Whilst this guy's shooting, you know, fire at me, that guy's shooting me with lasers, which is quite bad. I mean, Spasmatism is overall stronger, so you should kill him first, but Retinazer is close behind with his infinite lasers. And I'm dead. Yeah, I've, I've lost right there. Okay, so I guess it probably would have been a better idea to have killed the Destroyer first, because the twins are a bit difficult. I mean, the damage dealing is pretty good. We have dealt a lot of damage to them. It's just it's not enough damage, because as you can see, I'm dead. And I'm still alive currently, but I'm going to die soon. One more hit and I'm dead, so I mean... The damage you deal is good. It's just generally not good enough. Well, I mean, hey. I mean, we can't get both of them close to the second stages. It's just when we do get them to the second stage, that's where we just simply die. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how, but I'm actually still alive. Not for long, but I mean, I'm still alive. Actually, I can heal. Well, I mean, let's keep this, you know, wreck of a battle going, if we can. I have a potions to spare. Actually, I don't really, but hey. Okay, so, yeah, uh, um, my big lad, Spasmodon, is going to be entering a second stage soon. It's quite bad, because he's a lot harder in a second stage. He's, you know, he's a lot more aggressive in a second stage. He deals more damage, and he's even harder to avoid. So, yeah. The battle is going to get very hard very soon. It's only a matter of seconds till we enter stage 2 for Spasmodon. Okay, Redenazer is still quite high in health, so he's not going to enter his second stage anytime soon. But Redenazer, but Spasmodon is going to be in a second stage very soon. Okay, are you gonna enter your second stage? Yep, here he goes. Nope, not yet. He's just switching to his other annoying mode where I get killed by him. Okay, yeah. It's very hard to hit them when we're actually falling. And actually when we're going up. Okay, avoid that. Good. When, why are you gonna go? Okay, he switched. Okay, he has switched. Second stage, my boys. Second stage. And now, yeah, he looks like this. Not only is it a lot harder to actually avoid because now he's spitting fire. He's not shooting fire. He's actually spitting it. He also dashes at you just like the Afghafulu did. So, yeah, okay. That's pretty good. I'm gonna stick to the hollowed repeater. That's probably gonna be my best bet for this. 
Okay, we're doing good. Still have a lot of time. Okay, this is the bad stage. This is the very bad stage. No, oh, god damn, he just hit me. Okay. Still spitting fire again, are we? Oh, we are indeed. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I think actually Spasm is getting very weak. If we can kill him, then it's just gonna be red and nice or left. Because we need to kill both of them. We don't need to kill one, we need to kill both of them. I just got very low on health right there. You need to kill both. So if we can kill Spasmatism, we can go and take a bit of a breather. You know, because Red and Ace is not going to be doing much. So after we kill Spasmatism, you can take a bit of a breather. And not, you know, heal up a bit. And then you can go back to trying to kill them. Okay, Spasmatism is getting very weak. We're doing pretty good. Doing very good indeed. But oh god, this is so stressful. Okay, avoid all the damage. Not get hit. We can heal in an hour 30 seconds. We have still, okay, 16 potions left. That's quite good. Okay, now the, oh, the Cursed Flames just hit me. I mean, they didn't set me on fire, which is good, but it still did brisk me a bit. Okay, how low? Okay, I need to enable. Okay, three. Okay, good. Spasmodism has 3,000 health left. 3,000 is not much. We can probably lower that down to zero very soon. No, I just turned on the map. God damn it. Okay, we got an Ahem. Yeah, got it. Come on, there we go. Good. I turned it off. No, no, no. Stop. Oh, god damn it. Red Nazer just blazed me with his lasers. Okay, I cannot heal, for God's sake. Spasmodism, can you just... Okay, Spasmodism is dead. Spasmodism is dead. Good, 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 good. Okay. One of them is dead, we only have one more left. My health though is absolutely terrible. No, do not hit me, do not hit me, do not hit me, do not hit me. Three more seconds so you can heal. One, two, heal, 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 heal. Good, good, good. Okay, we need a bit of a breather. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, good, good, good. Now pause the game, there we go. Okay. Spasmatism, the big green laser guy, is dead. We only have one guy left. It's just Retinazer. Retinazer is the weaker guy, so we could quite potentially be able to kill him because his stronger brother slash sister is dead. It's just him left. Issue is, it's not like he's very easy. He is actually rather strong too. So killing Retinazer won't be easy, but at least now there's not two of them, there's only one. One of the twins is dead, it's just me against one huge eyeball. So because there's less of them, the battle is going to be easier, but it's still going to be quite difficult. So I think we got this. Time we have it, we're not even halfway through the night, so we still have enough time before it turns to daytime. One of the brothers is dead, so it's just one guy left. He's gonna be entering his second stage incredibly soon, as you can see. Incredibly soon, he's gonna be entering his second stage. So I think we got this. We have enough time in the night to do this. My health's rather decent. Uh, healing potions, still have 15 more of those. One of the twins is dead, it's just one guy left. Let's do this, let's not die though. The lasers are harder to evade because the fire, you just simply gotta evade it. And the second stage is gotta stay far away from him. But the lasers, in both the first stage and second stage, you just simply gotta be very good at dodging. I'm not good at dodging, so I guess... Let's just go. If we die, we die. What can you do? We can attempt some other time. Let's just go. Here we go! Now he's gonna be entering his second stage very soon. And I mean very soon, so yeah. The first stage is no problem. The second stage, which he's gonna be entering soon, is gonna be the harder part. Okay, he has similar attacks to uh, Spasmatism, where he attacks you in one uh, part, and he just simply dashing at you, not doing anything in the second part. But in the third part, I mean, in the second stage, he just obliterates you. He's literally rapid fires lasers. And rapid firing lasers ain't something easy to dodge, so yeah. But we're doing good. If we just don't die, maybe hit a bit of, yeah, maybe hit a bit of fire every now and then. If we just don't die, okay, here we go, second stage. Okay, now this is the hard stage because he deals a lot of damage. His lasers were purple previously, now they're red, so not only are the lasers looking more menacing. Oh god, but he also shoots lasers very fast. That's what I mean. Rapid fire lasers. Okay, stop, stop, stop. No, okay, okay. Ooh, I baited that. Very good. Staying strong. We can heal. We're gonna heal. Good, good, good. Stay strong. Do not die. Okay, no. Okay, I'm gonna pause right there. All right, I'm back. So, looking at Rodanizer's health. Uh, he slash she has, yeah, below 10,000. That's good. He starts with 30,000. He only has, he has below 10k. So we have dealt over 20,000 damage. We only got 9,261 more damage to go. Also, another thing I realized, um, what's his name? Retinazer, not Retinazer, that's the guy we're fighting. Spasmodism, when he died, he dropped us his trophies. That's quite cool. So we got his trophy. Trophies are quite rare. Only a 10% chance to drop. So these are quite rare. We got it. Yay. Cool. But this means nothing unless we kill both of them. We killed one, still have one more to go. Retinazer, time to die. Our health's pretty good, your health isn't good. We still have enough time to die, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. That little pause that I had to do really disorientated me, but we're still fine. Okay, we deal around 50 damage per shot and around 100 per critical. That's quite good. I've lost a lot of health by that, I can heal in our 40 seconds. Okay, no, 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 stop, okay. 
This is where the battle starts falling apart real fast. No, 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 no. Ooh, he just stopped firing before I run into his lasers. Okay, no, stop. What? Wow. Okay, when he does that, when he stays above you, he's very hard to evade. Oh, come on, don't kill me now. Come on, 5,000 health left to go. All these enemies that are spawning in randomly are screwing everything up. No, stop, stop. Oh, I evaded that. No, never mind. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Come on, he's so weak. So weak. Come on. Come on, I'm gonna be so peed if I die. Okay, my thing just saved me. Come on. A few more seconds so you can heal. No! Whoa. We're dead. We're dead. We were this close. This close. But we failed. Well, hey. At least we killed the one boss.